Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, this is your reading for the month of June 2021, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Okay. Also Scorpio, uh, 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 uh I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. Okay, I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Okay, Scorpio, I have started with extended readings and if you are interested in the same, if you are excited to know what your person truly and deeply thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is a likely conclusion between you and your person. Okay, if you are excited to get some advice regarding your love, your life, your money, and your career you can go ahead and check out the extended reading okay the link for the same is provided in the description box the link for the same is provided in the comment section you can click on that link and it will lead you to the Vimeo platform uh, make sure you follow me on Vimeo just the way you follow me on YouTube okay now as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned Scorpio what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a couple of cards over here they will represent your energy then I'm gonna place a couple of cards over here they will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about you are dealing with in between I'm gonna place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person Thereafter, I'm going to pull out some oracle cards and with the help of oracle cards, we'll see what what are the messages from the universe, what are the messages from the higher powers and then at the very end, we'll pull out some love notes and with the help of love notes, we'll see what your person was thinking and feeling about you, especially during separation, okay? So Scorpio, let's get started now. High priestess, then we have is the strength, and then we have is the devil. Interesting. All three major arcanas. Knight of Cups, then we have is the magician, then we have is nine of pentacles. Mutual energy is that of the king, knight of wands, and the temperance. Wow. Let's pull out some oracle cards as well. What are the messages from higher powers, Scorpio? What are the messages from higher powers? What are the messages from the universe? Scorpio, what are the messages from higher powers and the universe? We have four chakra archangel Raphael, then we have his victory, then we have his cornucopia, and we have his first chakra archangel Michael. We'll talk about the oracle cards later on. First, let's talk about the tarot cards, okay? So, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo, uh, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, okay? If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. So, High Priestess, Strength and Devil, Scorpio. Scorpio, I feel that there is a tussle of emotions that is going on in your mind. On one hand, we have a devil who is trying to trigger you for something. On other, another hand, we have high pri priestess who is trying to calm you for something. Okay, look, look at your cards. Very interesting cards. Very, very interesting cards. Okay, there is an emotional tussle that is going on inside you. Okay, literally a tug of war of emotions. And so when I say tug of war or tussle of emotions, what I'm trying to say is at one point you feel that uh, I need to calm myself down. I don't have to think so much about my past person. Probably some of you are also thinking that you need to move on. You need to walk away from your person. You are thinking that I am probably overthinking about my past. I don't have to devote so much of time and energy towards my past person because nothing is happening but then on the other hand you are being tempted to think about your past so much you're being tempted or energetically triggered to uh, you know to 
think very affectionately about your past okay because i see with that i'm going to talk about your person's cards later on but why i'm saying so is that because your person is having a magician card okay your person is manifesting you in their life your person is probably they are trying to do some love spells or do some black magic on you and that's why there are this uh, tussle of emotions we have angel of ones on one side and then we have devil on the other side okay so the angel is trying to <coughs> uh you know trying to tell you that you have to stand strong the angel is trying to tell you that uh, you don't there is no need for you to get triggered the angel is trying to tell you that no your self respect is more important the angel is trying to tell you that uh, you you yourself is more important okay your own time and energy is more important you have invested more than enough in that person now that person should come towards you and make things right between you and them you don't have to take any kind of efforts toward them as of now okay so your angel the angel inside you is trying to calm you down the angel inside you is putting you in the right direction when it comes to this connection whereas the devil on the other hand is, is sort of energetically triggering you to think about your past person to go back to them some of you are also thinking about what if i initiate a conversation what if i send a message to my person okay so there is this tug of war that is going off tug of war of emotions inside your mind okay uh, for some of you <clears throat> for some of you uh, scorpio there is a very strong spiritual awakening happening for you a very very strong spiritual awakening is happening for you you are going through a phase where you are undergoing a major 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 transition inside you like say for uh, say for example one year down the line or probably two years down the line you will be a totally different person than who you were before okay uh, you will be very mature you will not at all be impulsive you will be standing very strong for yourself you will be very highly self aware person okay you will be someone for where you will give importance and priority to your own happiness over others so far it was the reverse case okay so there is a major transition that is happening for you and uh, there are some forces who doesn't want you to change probably okay that is also what i'm getting uh, a message from the devil card there are some forces who 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 don't uh, want to do, who who so far probably they were trying to take undue advantage of you scorpio and if you change uh, they won't be able to take that undue advantage from you so there are some forces or there are some negative souls in and around you who don't want you to transform okay probably they are sensing that you are on the verge of your transformation or you are changing probably one or two incidences may have happened because of which uh, they were surprised of uh, of your behavior they were surprised to see that you are a bit different person now than you were be before and they are scared that you may change more okay so something th someone is trying to keep you stuck and someone is trying to remove out of that stuck energy okay as far as your person is concerned we have knight of cups we have magician and we have nine of pentacles uh your person is not happy that you are single okay you're single you're doing good for yourself and they are scared and they are insecure that you'll attract a lot of suitors for yourself okay and they they want you back okay this person wants you back scorpio they want to show to the world that scorpio belongs to me and no one should dare look at scorpio this person is coming across as very obsessive and possessive when it comes to you scorpio they they want to show to the world absolutely that you belong to them they cannot handle that uh, someone else is interested in you or you are becoming interested in someone else they cannot handle that okay so they are going to come towards you with an apology this person is also using tactics like love spells and uh, black magic uh, over you 
Okay. So, a Knight of Wands and Temperance as a mutual energy. Both of you want that stability, much needed stability in this connection. Okay. But somehow I'm sensing that with that High Priestess card, Scorpio, uh, you have to watch out for what this person, uh, what are the true intentions of this person. Okay, are they coming towards you just because they are insecure or, or are they coming towards you because uh, they really love you? Okay, and in the meantime, by the way, I see there is someone new who is popping up in your life. Okay, and I want you to check out that person. I want you to check out that person. Don't, don't lose that opportunity or don't remain too stuck in the past. Okay, look, you don't have to stop your life. Okay, if the past is meant to come back, if the past is meant to stay in your life, that's okay. Okay, but if you are going to just check out someone else, uh, there is no harm. Because basically you have done more than enough for your person and uh, you are doing what you deserve. Okay, so there is a vast difference between selfish, acting selfish and being, being self-aware. I'm asking you to be self-aware of your own needs and your your own wants. Okay, your self-respect should be of more importance. Okay, so yes, so if this resonates, copy or go ahead and check out the extended reading. The link for the same is provided in the description box. The link for the same is provided in the comments section. Yeah, uh, you can click on that link and it will lead you to the Vimeo platform. Okay, what are we going to discuss in the extended reading is what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, and most importantly, what is the likely conclusion between you and your person. I also advise you regarding your love, your life, your money, and your career over there. Okay, so you can check out that link if you're interested. So, fourth chakra Archangel Rafael, Victory, Cornucopia, and first chakra Archangel Michael. Your fourth chakra is your heart chakra. First chakra is your root chakra. Your root chakra is about who you are as a person, about your confidence, and your uh, fourth chakra is heart chakra is about love and romance. <coughs> it is also about creativity, I guess. And uh, we have a victory card next to that. So love life is gonna is is looking good for you especially because you're more you're vibrating high okay so you are attracting the right kind of a soulmate towards you okay so for some of you it's going to be a new person for some of you it can be a past person okay you are very confident right now you are very confident and you are attracting right kind of a person and there is also a lot of blessings in terms of happiness and money coming towards you Okay, there will be a strong sense of victory. Probably you may get hired somewhere or you're getting selected for a challenging job or you are getting through some competitive exams. Okay. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Now what your person was thinking and feeling about you. Uh, now take how it resonates. Some of the love notes may look like what they were thinking and feeling about you. Some of the love notes may look like what you were thinking and feeling about them. Okay, so you laugh at my jokes even when they are not funny. You are such a kind human being. I feel halt when I'm not with you. You're my best friend and always will be. Holding your hand while watching a movie is just awesome. You can make me better when I'm feeling down. You are simply irresistible. You have taught me what love is all about. How you wrap your arms around me and how that makes me feel secure. Touching you is the most wonderful feeling ever. The way you walk, talk, smile or laugh or even cry just melts my heart. The sparkle in your eyes makes my day. You are the light in my life. You complete me. You pamper me like your baby. You have passion in all that you do. You are, the, you are not afraid to be silly with me. You can guess what I'm going to say. The way you run your hands through my hair. Wow. I hope this resonates. Please hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Till then, bye bye.